Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 50 in the Free Cat series. So I was on the uh, help forum at freecatweb.org and ran across this question. A user wants to know how he might <clears throat> model something like this. And it turns out I have a macro that can help you do this. To acquire the macro, you go to this GitHub site here, github.com slash mwgansen slash svg to cylinder. I'll put a link in the description. And you get the macro here. I have an earlier video that shows how to add a macro to FreeCAD. I'll show you again how to do that. Let me show you which version I'm on. 0 0.19 revision 20036 on Windows 10. This is one of the newest development releases. You might need 0 0.19 to get this macro to work. I just had to make a few changes. There were some changes to the uh, draft module that this was using. So I just I just made some updates to it. Uh, when I tried it out a little bit earlier, it didn't work, so I had to make a few fixes. <clears throat> so to get that into FreeCAD, you go to uh, Macro, Macros, choose Create, and just uh, give it a name. I'll call this SVG2 Cylinder. And that brings up the editor here in the MDI area, the 3D view area, and we go to here, and you could just download it and unzip it. You'll get a zip file, but the easiest way is just click on it here, select, right click, copy back to free CAD right click paste save your file <clears throat> now to run this you will need an SVG file to import so you need to create something that uh, will be in a SVG format and what I'm just gonna do is open up the sketcher Create a new sketch on the XY plane and uh, just put a few things in here. nothing fancy just whatever all right let's see if that works and then we'll go to part and I'll extrude this sketch and I'm going to export it as a flattened SVG so select the object export flattened SVG type I'll put it in documents and I'll just call this um, whatever and now we can close this I'm going to discard changes run the macro <clears throat> navigate to that file whatever I'm gonna choose yes to that question looks like there might be some errors on there Let's 
just uh, check this check geometry on this yeah got yeah, some problems it's probably related to this sharp point here I made another one earlier that did work so let's let me use that one it's called random can hide this SVG on the surface thing and all we need to do is fuse these together first <coughs> Or we can make a compound that should work too. Select transform. Drag it down some reasonably appropriate place there. And now select the cylinder, select the compound, and do the cut. And if we want the uh, internal part of that cut out select the cylinder edit duplicate selection and this one let's move the radius inwards one two three four five six seven eight nine ten however much you want select the cut select the cylinder of one do another cut so sometimes it works, sometimes not. Let's check this um, geometry here. <clears throat> okay, we're good with this one. So I think what the problem with the other one was was that the B spline came at uh, that sharp point. So if you get failures. Try to re, uh, redo your drawing. Alright, well that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.